welcome to my liquid kitchen. So it occurred to me that I should probably introduce myself. I am Trisha Carr. I call myself the concoctologist. That is a funny word that I made up. Words are hard. I don't like certain words and they make me mad. Like the word mixologist, but I get so angry. Hey, you guys learned Zach Galifianakis a shitty name, you can learn the shitty word I made up. So this show has everything. Booze! Ice. Fruit. Stainless steel implements. <laughs> and of course, the occasional cat. Bird. Hi, Jinx. <laughs> Dancing ladies. There won't be any dancing. But there will be a weird lady every single time. Hey, who likes to make cocktails and do silly things that also has fingers? Me! So join me, the concoctologist, here in my liquid kitchen every Throm day at Blue Tree M. You didn't really say a time. Yes, yes I did. No, you just said gibberish. Oh, they don't know the Okay, fine. I'm probably gonna post new episodes on Thursday. Now let's make a cocktail. Today's order came in from a couple of sources. I have uh, at notorious underscore not. He asks, hello Trisha. Can you please post me a recipe with yours beer cocktail? And then, at Odd Otter Brewing asks, any thoughts on beer cocktails? We're looking at menuing up some. Kudos on changing menu from a noun to a verb. I'm going to fulfill both of those orders with one drink. So, you two are just gonna have to share. Like, a couple of lovers. Like, Lady and the Tramp. <gasps> Who's gonna get the meatball? The Malta cocktail I've chosen to make today, I have named Cerveza Migos. And it's featuring um, Samuel Smith Organic Pale Ale and a really sexy tequila called Casa Migos. George Clooney's sexy. I'm gonna start with a couple of dashes of Angostura. And the thing about this cocktail is that it was actually inspired by a contemporary classic called um, Mexican Firing Squad, which is this cocktail that was discovered at La Cucaracha Bar in Mexico City in 1937. I'm gonna do a half ounce of lime juice. And um, another thing that makes it a lot like that Mexican Firing Squad cocktail is the pomegranate that's going in it. This is um, a pomegranate juice that's been sweetened. It's a lot like authentic grenadine, which is a pomegranate cordial, uh, but this one is a little bit lighter than a lot of the kind of classic grenadines are. I don't normally like mixers because the quality is really like, low, uh, but this one's actually just organic pomegranate juice and then it's sweetened with organic cane sugar, so you know, it's pretty great. If you wanted to though, you could substitute in just pure pomegranate juice and like a half ounce of simple syrup, and I would do on the pomegranate juice three quarters to one ounce depending on your taste. And I'm gonna do an ounce and a half of the tequila, and this is the, oops, this is the Casamigos <laughs> Leaky Tap um, Reposado. It's been, it's been uh, rested in some oak. Rested is what Reposado means. Um, but that means aged in oak for um, seven months. And it was in premium whiskey barrels. And now I'm doing three ounces of our malt feature, the organic Sam Smith Pale Ale. Wait a minute, organic beer and pomegranate juice that everyone knows is packed with antioxidants. This is practically exercise. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna add some nice big pieces of ice. This is gonna end up in this uh, big, beautiful Pilsner glass. So I just wanted to fancy it up a little bit. I'm gonna let that sit there for just a sec. And in the meantime, I'm going to hand cut my ice to fit into my Pilsner. Yeah, don't try this at home unless you're, you know, awesome. Um, I'm just hand cutting this down. I like the chunky ice, but I want it to just fit in here a little better. It's gonna add just the right amount of dilution and chill that I want. And this is a dull knife, so if you do try it at home, um, don't sue me. I'm going to do a slightly different technique that's going to enhance our aeration and dilution in just the way we want. Uh, this is something that we call, uh, some people call it throwing, some people call it tossing. If you're not comfortable doing this technique, you can actually just roll it back and forth. This is where your elevator go up. My mentor Marcos Teo says. 
gorgeous. That's going to enhance all the uh, effervescence of the beer. But it's not going to kill it. Integrated, obviously. It's adding some chill. And oh boy, you'll be able to see. Wow! Oh my goodness! It's getting nice and nice and alive and awake. And it's uh, really adding the uh, all the effervescence. And you need air and citrus. And the pomegranate juice really needs it too. Okay, just pour that in there. It's alright if we make a mess. We're professionals. Perfect. So you want to get it just all oh, that kind of frothiness right on top, just like you poured yourself a beer right off the tap. And I'm actually going to do a really simple garnish for it, just a nice lime wheel. If you wanted to add a wedge, just in case somebody wanted a little more acidity, go ahead. But I think I've got the perfect amount of acidity. And we're just going to add a little uh, lime wheel for the aroma and color. So there we go, at Notorious underscore not, I think that was your, t your handle, and then at Otter Brewing, here's your drink. And... Um, you guys are just going to have to enjoy vicariously through me. Mmm. So good. I mean, we've got a good amount of booze in this. We've got an ounce and a half of the tequila. We've got three ounces of the beer. We've got a lot of juice in there, though, too. But it's really healthy. It's got that nice bite, creating some nice astringency. It's boozy. It's juicy. It's ethyl. It's Lucy. What else do you need? Cheers. <laughs>